Back. Um, I'm Blair with the Where's the Buzz. How are you feeling tonight? I'm feeling good. I'm super excited. Oh, yeah, I'm excited to, you know, watch the show. Now, this is season one. Tell me about your character and what it was that you wanted to bring to this show when you signed on. Oh, I guess for my character, I really wanted to make her relatable, and I hope a lot of other teenage girls going through whatever they're going through can relate to my character and all of our characters. Okay, beautifully said. Now, talk to me a little bit about this upcoming season, or this first season. What will fans get from this show? Ooh, I mean, what can't you get from this show? We've got real life issues, we've got mystery, we've got horror, lots of horror elements, it's super scary. Um, we've got romance, we've got a little bit of everything. Everybody's been telling me that it's super scary. What was it like working on set, you know, playing these scary characters or having those, you know, scary scenes? What was that like? It was almost kind of funny because seeing me and my castmates, who are also now my best friends, seeing us, like, pretend to be scared about something that's either going to be CGI'd in later or uh, a stuntman in a gray suit is really funny. So it's almost comedic while we're filming. And then we look back at the scary scenes and we're all like, ah! And it's, so it's, it's funny behind the scenes. Well, we definitely can't wait to watch it. Congratulations and have a great night. Thank you so much. You know, this is the first season of Wolfpack. What do you think fans can expect from this upcoming season? Um, I mean, fans can expect a lot. There's a lot of different dynamics in the show. There's a lot going on. Um, but it all comes together. I think fans can expect to learn. I think they can expect to relate. And most importantly, I think they can expect to enjoy. Now, a lot of the cast that I've been talking to tonight, nobody wants to spill any beans. Are you going to be the one to slip up and tell me a little bit? I need an exclusive. I, I want to so badly. I've been holding this in for like eight months now, and it has been impossible. I feel like I'm going to explode. Um, I'm, I'm not really sure what I can say, but just be ready. Just be ready to see some, some spicy interesting and scary scenes now tell us about your character oh harlan is i mean wow i don't even know where to start with him he's he's such a confident and dominant character and you really think that he just has it all figured out and i think that he has he thinks he has it all figured out as well but i think what fans are going to see is that he's he's lost he's he's feeling empty on the inside and i think that he tries to hide it by distracting himself um, but what he doesn't realize is that there is people around him that are willing to help him and love him. And I think that just really relates with society nowadays. Like, there's always someone within an arm's reach that's willing to help and love you. What would you say has been, so far, the best part about playing Harlan? Um, I think realizing the impact that he could have on the people that watch. Um, you know, I really... I really wasn't sure at first because I was like, oh, a supernatural show, this is going to be action and scary. And then doing all these scenes, I was like, wow, he's, he's going to be really impactful. I think people are really going to be able to like, relate to him. I hope, that, I hope that he can inspire people of all ages to really like, feel comfortable with themselves and know that like, it's okay to just be yourself. You don't have to follow any standard. You don't have to live up to anything. As long as you're yourself, that's the happiest you're ever going to be. It's really beautiful. Well, thank you. It's so nice meeting you and congratulations. You too. I really appreciate it. Hi, Chloe. You finally made it to the end. How are you? Oh, it's, I'm great. This is so much fun. I'm glad you're having a great time. Talk to us a little bit about Luna. What can we expect from her this season? Luna is, at first, a very lonely and lost soul, but she has a beautiful heart and she's very empathetic uh, towards the people that she loves. Uh, when she meets Everett and Blake, her world kind of opens up and her dark cloud fades because she finally has people that are just like her, um, which is truly what she's been searching for her whole life. So that's a little bit about Luna. <laughs> Last question. What has been so far the best part about playing Luna for you? Getting to play somebody who I can relate to, truly. I mean, when I read the character breakdown, it was uh, immediately like, yes, this is me. Um, she is... Uh, searching for her pack, which I think we all are in some way or another at some point in our lives. And I feel like I definitely related to that in high school and in middle school. And uh, so getting to emulate a character who I feel is true to me is the most special part of all of this for me. <laughs> Beautiful. I love it. Well, congratulations. Can't wait to watch. Thank you so much. So nice to meet you. I'm good. How are you? I'm doing excellent. You look great. Thank you. What's your name? My name is Blair. I'm with Blair. Where, Blair. I'm with Where's the Buzz? Amazing. Hello, Where's the Buzz? <laughs> nah. <It's Bailey. laughs> Talk to me a little bit about Wolfpack and what fans can expect. <laughs> a lot. 
I keep saying this, but a lot of queerness, mystery, a lot of things I can't say, um, drama, horror. It's definitely, it's different from Teen Wolf, and I think people think it's going to be like the same exact thing, but it's definitely like a different tone. That's kind of what I was going to ask, you know, um, I, I'm curious, you know, kind of like the differences in between, you know, Teen Wolf and this new series, like, you said it's kind of a different tone, like, can you elaborate on that? Yeah, I think ours is a little bit, a little gorier and a little sexier in a way, and they have a little bit more comedy than we have, so ours is definitely like drama horror, and there's definitely comedic relief, but it's more more drama horror, I would say. Now, it sounds like, you know, I talked to some other castmates, it sounds like there will be a lot of, you know, heavy topics. Well, not necessarily heavy, but you know, you got the mental health, you have the queerness, you said that yeah. we'll be experiencing or seeing on the screen. Talk to me about why do you think that was important to incorporate into this series? I mean, I remember being in high school and struggling with mental health and feeling like no one was talking about it, or I was embarrassed to even tell my parents how I was feeling, which was really not good in high school <laughs> and now that I've gotten help I'm like the happiest person alive as you can see um, so it's really cool that we're destigmatizing it and, and talking about it on shows like this so openly now tell me what fans can expect from your character um, a bitch a raging bitch soft inside but and what was it like playing that character for? so fun I never play characters like this I always play like quirky weird little best friend characters and I got to be um, the mean girl so that was fun and you got to do it acting you know you didn't have to really be mean I was and it was fun for you I love that. right it was so much fun and it was it was funny because the camera would cut and we're all like best friends but we get to play all you know pissed at each other it's so fun thank you so much for talking to me have a good night nice to meet you too congratulations on the show